Hi, my name is April Bohortkis and I'm the curator at the St. Mary's College Museum of Art. The work you are looking at is one of 40 artworks by 40 women artists in our current exhibition, Feminizing Permanence. The exhibit invites you to reflect on the complexity of female social identities and how it informs each work. This work was created by American multidisciplinary artist Robin Candell. Robin was born in Detroit, Michigan in 1961 and moved to Santa Cruz, California in 1983. She describes her work as a visual drawing of repetitive tasks and self-imposed limitations. This piece, titled One Mile Drawing Number 5, was created in 2014. What you are looking at is a 12-inch square that contains one mile worth of fine ruled lines. It is an example of a simple method, the accumulation of lines made with an ordinary number two pencil. Robin's work invites us to reconsider our concept of space and measurement. How many lines do you think are in this drawing? This photograph was taken circa 1946 by Marianne Palfi. Marianne was a social documentary photographer born in Berlin, Germany in 1907 and later immigrated to the U.S. in 1940 at the onset of World War II. Early in her career, Palfi apprenticed at a commercial portrait studio in Berlin and also began working as a freelance photographer for magazines. Later, while in the U.S., she produced numerous photographic essays, some featuring great American minority artists such as Langston Hughes, while other projects captured racism and discrimination in the U.S. Some of her work even challenged the notion of the American dream. In this work, Marianne combines two images and two realities. In the foreground, we see three black children standing in an alley surrounded by structures in disrepair. Just behind them, peering above the trees in the US, is the U.S. Capitol building, which we can interpret as a symbol of justice. What was Marianne communicating by juxtaposing these two concepts? This work was created by Canadian Inuit artist Pitseo Lak Ashuna. Pitseo Lak Ashuna was born in the early 1900s in the Northwest Territories of Canada, now known as Nunavut. She grew up in the traditional ways of her people and is a key figure in the world of Inuit art. She is considered to have given birth to modern Inuit art. In the late 60s, she settled permanently in Cape Dorset, where she began to draw. There she made nearly 9,000 drawings in 20 years. She is also the mother and grandmother of several Cape Dorset artists, including Napachi Putukuk, also featured in Feminizing Permanence. In 1974, Pizzeo Lock was accepted to the Royal Academy of Arts and received the Order of Canada in 1977. Pizzeo Lock made work depicting the ways of Inuit life, mythology, and other forms of Arctic life. I wonder what Pizzeo Lak would draw today. What would a drawing depicting your life look like? This work was created in 1872 by Elizabeth Emerson Keith. Elizabeth was an educated woman, which means a lot when you consider that during this time, many women did not have access to education. Keith was born in Maine and um, moved, later moved with her family to Texas and moved to California in 1860 due to growing tensions that preceded the Civil War. In 1864, she married uh, William Keith, who um, would later become a prominent early California landscape painter. Interesting little fact, um, it is believed that actually uh, William was a student of Elizabeth's and that she taught him how to watercolor. 
When you look at Elizabeth's still life, what do you notice? Do you recognize any of the items in this image? Do you recognize any of the plants or flowers in the basket? Mm -hmm.